I don't even know where to begin with explaining this because this is probably the weirdest inspiration I've ever had for a Sims build. It's not the build that's the problem, it's the idea behind it. Like the reason I'm making this build is the problem. So today we're going to build a restaurant that literally only serves potatoes. The entire menu, all potatoes. The color scheme, potatoes. Everything about this restaurant is potatoes. That part is not the weird part. That part is actually right about where my builds usually are in the scale of chaoticness, just like slightly chaotic in a potato way in this case. There's actually a reason that I've done this build. And for you to understand, I need to show you this. This is a game called My Friend Peppa Pig for the Nintendo Switch. Go on a fun fill adventure with Peppa Pig as your guide where you choose what happens next. It's just like being in the TV show. No, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I played this on my Twitch stream last year as a charity incentive during my big fundraiser for St. Jude. And I don't even know how to explain what about this was so horrible, but it's a game for children, right? And I really cannot encourage you to buy Buy this game for your kids. Like, don't put them through that. Because I don't mean that it's bad because I'm an adult and I played it. I mean it's bad because it's bad. First of all, it was so repetitive. Every single time you left the house, you got stuck behind the same cutscene of these construction workers in the road, and it was like, oh no, they're in the road. And I had to watch the entire cutscene of them talking to Peppa about being in the road. And then every time, I would talk to my grandpa. I'd get stuck in this same cutscene about an aeroplane. Oh my, I, I just, looking back on this, I've never been so miserable in my life. And I know that it sounds so dramatic, but this game was like actually bad. This was like three hours of my life that I wasted on this, right? And the whole time it keeps teasing about Potato City. So the end game after you finally get through Peppa Pig is getting to visit Potato City. So for three hours, I was just like, please, please, can this be over so I can get to Potato City? And you know what? I finally did get to Potato City and guess what? It sucked. Potato City, also bad absolutely did not live up to the hype. I was so excited and then it immediately crushed my dreams. So I think you can see where I'm going with this. Um, what I'm building here today is Potato City. Just not the Peppa Pig kind. It is Potato City in name only, <laughs> but I made a restaurant in The Sims that only serves potatoes inspired by Potato City from the Peppa Pig cinematic universe. I built this on my Twitch channel a couple weeks ago and everybody on Twitch has really embraced this Peppa Pig meme. Whenever anybody sees anything Peppa Pig in the wild, like it sent a picture of it. We keep joking about how she's everywhere and we can't escape her. She even showed up at Eurovision this year. Peppa Pig was in the audience at Eurovision. The way literally everybody tweeted me a picture of Peppa Pig at Eurovision, by the way, like everybody. So anyway, I, um, I built this inspired by her. The building itself is not that chaotic. Like it's actually a nice restaurant, I would say. The menu is kind of silly, but I think that kind of thing is fun. I really like building kind of funny, detailed menus in The Sims. I like the idea of a restaurant that only has potatoes. Honestly, in real life, would be kind of cool to go there. We have like chips and fries and baked potatoes. The only dessert is sweet potato pie. Like. I actually really, really enjoyed building this. I did start to get a little bit chaotic when I was furnishing the bathroom and the kitchen. So most of the building is actually kind of nice. Like the dining room is nice. There's a beautiful patio. The outside is pretty. There's like fairy lights and stuff. But the bathroom is so beyond disgusting in every way. I put like stains everywhere. There's mold, there's cracks in the floor. I made one of the toilet stalls broken. And so I put like a fence saying, don't go in there. There's a no poop sign. I put a fountain in the toilet so when you're in game it looks like there's water coming up out of it because it's broken. There's spider webs. I mean I just I made this bathroom so disgusting and at first I was gonna just do the bathroom and then I was like you know what what if we did the kitchen too and so when I furnished the kitchen I made the kitchen also disgusting. <laughs> it's got like again dirt everywhere. There's like piles of trash. I put a couple little mouse holes from city living and then I found these mouse traps and I put the mouse traps around the place in the bathroom and in the kitchen. So I don't know how this place past their health inspection. But do not go into the bathroom and don't look in the kitchen. It'll disgust you. I think it's really funny though, the contrast between like the really nicely furnished dining room and this revolting kitchen they have. As I was doing this, I was finding a lot of potato themed items as well. I found like a couple baskets of potatoes. There's like a crate with potatoes spilling out of it in the base game. I totally didn't realize just how much potato content we had until I needed it. And the game really came through for me with this. I also kind of gave the whole place what I would describe as a 
potato color scheme. And I don't really know what I mean by that either, but basically the whole place is like very wooden. There's a lot of like brown <laughs> accents around, but actually it's not bad. It's got a lot of wood and brown colors. There's some black brick and also some lime green accents. Um, kind of like a rotten potato or something. Slimy, you know, it's slime accents. There you go. Okay, and I do have one thing to apologize for. So I got a little overexcited and posted this on the gallery and then I play tested it and I realized that the kitchen does not work. <laughs> the problem is actually those ducts that I put above in the ceiling. It's weird because they can stand under them, like they're high enough that they can walk under it, but I think because the duct is in the space that's occupied by the chef station, it gets weird about it. Sometimes items in this game just are kind of weird like that. Like sometimes they'll be mad when there's a wall shelf next to it and it's like, why is the wall shelf affecting you? Well, in this case, the ceiling was affecting it. So my bad, if you download this lot, um, you might have to delete the <laughs> They're from the industrial loft kit, so you might not even have them, but if you do have them, remove them. Although, I guess, realistically, nobody should be eating from this restaurant. Like, you should not be buying food here. Have you seen that kitchen? It is not safe. So perhaps it's for the best that the chef station doesn't work because then nobody will risk eating here. I just can't catch a break. Everything to do with Potato City is disappointing. The Peppa version, the Sims version, it's all a mess. Well, I actually have some exciting unrelated to Peppa Pig news in real life because when you're seeing this, I'm actually at VidCon. I actually got invited to be a featured creator at VidCon this year and this is kind of weird, but to me that feels like a really big deal because I used to watch like all these YouTubers, these vloggers back in the day in like the highlight years of VidCon and I thought it was so cool. I mean all those VidCon vlogs and stuff from like the British vlog squad were top tier. So the thought of me being invited to VidCon as a featured creator myself is like really weird weird to think about. I'm actually a little bit nervous about it. I went to VidCon twice. I went to VidCon in 2017 and in 2018. Obviously I was not a featured creator then, I just went. Actually the first year we went, me and a couple of my friends, like Stefo Sims and I, we went and we had community passes. We went like because we wanted to go to meet and greets ourselves. So again, the thought of me doing that, but like me doing the meet and greet is like really weird for me to, to wrap my head around. I guess when you're seeing this video, I will have already done my meet and greet at VidCon, so I'll have to let you know how it goes. I've done meet and greets before because I've done them at TwitchCon a couple times, but I haven't been to VidCon in so long that I don't really know what to expect. And I'm doing a panel, which I've done panels before too, but it's just, I don't know, public speaking is kind of scary. So no matter what, it's like a little bit intimidating to think about. So anyway, I'll keep you posted on how that goes. I'll probably post on like Instagram and things like that while I'm there. So you can follow me. My name is just Lil Simsy everywhere, Twitch, Instagram, everything. But at this point in the actual build, we're starting to work on the decorating of the main dining room. So I had this idea to put in some built-in booth seating. I really like like how that looks. I like that kind of thing in real life too. I just, I always struggle to make it work right in The Sims. And so I had this sort of long bench up against the wall by the entrance and I tried all these different tables. I really couldn't get one that I thought looked good. And so I ended up just leaving the benches there. And I think that's okay. Cause maybe it's like a waiting area, you know, for guests or something that are coming here. I mean, clearly we are in high demand. Have you seen the quality of this place? Everybody's just lining up to come eat at Potato City. But then I saw these little chairs from City Living that had that sort of black and brown and lime green on them. And that was like the exact theme I was going for. I hadn't incorporated the green yet, but I loved the black and the brown swatch together. And the green was kind of a fun accent. And I felt like it kind of fit with the potato vibes. <laughs> so I put those chairs everywhere. It's actually like, I think kind of classy in the dining room. It feels pretty fancy in there. And then we have this super cute patio outside. I put some real life potato plants there. So like where your Sims can actually grow potatoes. <laughs> It's annoying because they only grow in the winter, so they look dead right now in The Sims, but it's okay. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this part though, because I didn't put any big tables here. I always think about putting things like a six seat table and stuff down in restaurants, but I find in my actual gameplay, I never use that. I never come to these places with that many Sims. At max, I come with three, maybe four, but usually I go to restaurants with just like one other Sim. I find restaurants to be kind of slow and kind of glitchy, so it isn't usually the kind of thing that I would 
go to with the whole family. So I didn't bother putting any big tables. I was talking in my Twitch chat about this and we were kind of trying to decide if it was worth adding bigger tables. And most people were like, yeah, you know what? There's no reason to, cause like it doesn't work <laughs> and you won't come here ever with it. So we have just the small ones, but I'm interested if, if you have any differing opinions. It's not a very big restaurant anyway. It's just a 20 by 15 lot. So if it were bigger, I maybe would have added bigger tables, but because this one's so small, I didn't bother. Right now we're kind of just going through and rearranging and trying to figure out the best order for these things. There is one small decor piece that I put in this restaurant that I thought was so funny. So by the front door right now, I've got a menu, but I end up replacing it instead with a prized potato. There's this like trophy case shelf that comes with the base game. I think it's from the athlete career or something, but I put that trophy case shelf there. And then I got a potato out of debug, like a actual potato, the ones that your Sims grow. And I sized it up and put it in the trophy case. And then I got some of those ribbons from Cottage Living, like the crop, oversized crop prize ribbons. And I put that in the trophy case. And then I put like a plaque underneath it as if this is like a trophy of our prized oversized giant potato that we won something for. If anybody's gonna have a prized potato, it would be Potato City. So I made sure to include that. There was a time where I considered putting potatoes on all of the tables, but I thought it looked really weird. I was thinking about using my centerpieces, but the problem is that potato from the game, it doesn't look much like a potato. It kind of just looks like a brown rock almost. It kind of, it's like a cross between a potato, maybe a peanut, a rock, a, a turd, to be honest. Like it just, it just is there. So it's not very obvious that it's a potato. I guess with the context of the restaurant, you can probably figure it out, but I just, I thought it looked weird when I tried to put it as other decorations. So I didn't bother. This build is yet another example of me waiting until the absolute last minute to paint the walls, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but I am doing everything but painting the walls on this lot. I didn't know what I wanted. So I was just avoiding it until the last second. So don't worry. I I will paint them. It was just the last thing that I did. I kind of had a hard time with the landscaping on the outside too, because with this, since it's kind of on this like deck almost, there's wood everywhere. I didn't want to put a lot of plants because I thought it was kind of weird, but I found these little trees from City Living that were in pots. And I sort of liked how that looked. I liked how it was small too, because it was the same height as the building. And then I used those trees in the front and the back. And I just put some bushes kind of close to the building too. I struggle a lot with landscaping community lots. It's really not my strong suit, I would say. I think community lots in general aren't my strong suit, and maybe I just feel that way and it's not actually true. Because I am proud of this build, I just, I always feel like I'm not that good at community lots. Even when I make ones that I like, I still think that I'm not good at it. But hey, practice makes perfect, right? The more you do it, the better you get. <laughs> and we're finally painting the building too. So I used a couple different colors here. I used that new wood paneling that came with the book kit. And then I had this nice brick that I was using on the inside. So I used that in a couple places and I used a painted black brick. It's kind of like a over grouted painted black brick too. So it's just a slight texture. It's the one from Cottage Living. And I liked how it looked with the black sign on top of it too, with that like tone on tone. The sign I'm using is from high school years. It's actually the High school sign. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have used it in the high school world for the restaurant, but it's too late. I did. One of the other things that I liked a lot about this is off the kitchen, I have like a little fenced in employee area for the dumpster. And I made sure to include a lot of trash out there as well. I kind of went all out with the dirt in a couple of these places. I won't lie. So around the dumpster, I found these like trash bags and piles of trash and stuff. And I will say the dumpster doesn't actually function because I put so much dirt in in front of it. I don't think that that bothers me though, cause I sort of prefer the look of it. And if I really wanted to woohoo in the dumpster, I could just move the trash, it would be fine. Oh my God, I should also warn you, um, a couple times throughout this video, you might have seen a Potato City image pop up. <laughs> and that's because like I said, I built this on stream and literally all day, all day, all anybody could ask about is what's Potato City? Why are you doing this? What's Potato City? And then I have to be like, okay, well, so basically, <laughs> Potato City is the theme park from the Peppa Pig cinematic universe. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. And then they'd be like, oh, can we see your reference picture? And I don't, there isn't a reference picture. It, Potato City does not look like this. This is from my brain, <laughs> but I can show you Potato City. It's just, it's not this. This is completely different. We're kind of going around doing some last minute touches though, things like fixing the outdoor lighting and stuff like that. And looking back on this, I gotta say, I'm really glad that I made it so nasty. 
nasty. I realize that's kind of a weird thought, but I just think that so often when I'm doing builds like this, the bathroom especially is always kind of an afterthought for me. I just don't really bother to make nice bathrooms very often. I mean, they're always nice. Like they look decent and they're functional and stuff. I just don't usually put that much time or effort or thought into the bathrooms. It's kind of just like throwaway space in my mind. So I don't bother with it. But doing this and having this like horrible, disgusting, detailed bathroom was so fun. It's making me feel inspired to try a little bit harder in the bathrooms of other builds. Cause I always usually just don't bother. And I, I cut out the bathrooms for my speed builds a lot of the time. Cause I just don't really try that hard on them. But I feel like this might be a turning point for me. I might start actually caring about bathrooms after this. I like how I'm describing this as me doing a nice bathroom. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is my nice bathroom build. <laughs> One more I actually put effort in, I mean, is what I'm trying to say. It is definitely not nice. It is disgusting. But that's kind of fun. It's got character. If you come visit this place, it's it's got story, you know? But anyway, the build is just about done now. I'm, I'm really just putting some last minute things into it. And I want to pop back into the game and show you a tour of the finished product. I always say this, but it's kind of hard to see when I'm doing a speed build because I'm spinning around and moving and jumping around and stuff so much. So let's go into the game for real and I'll show you what it looks like. So I built this in Copperdale. It's kind of in the downtown area where this starter home, the Town Square Terrace lot is. I like this downtown area a lot and I feel like this particular place is so good for community lots. I've built so much. I've done like a restaurant here. I've done a cafe here. In this case, we've got a potato restaurant here. So here's what it looks like from the outside. It's not very big. It's kind of simple. I want to show you the menu first. Oh, and I did pick outfits for all the staff. The chefs wear these horrible, disgusting, dirty outfits and flip-flops. And I don't know how to explain this, but I just feel felt as though a cowboy hat and cowboy boots was the best thing to do. And so I, I use that for the waiters and hosts. And then on the menu, we serve water, we serve coffee, but the rest of the food, chips, french fries, potato bread, baked potato, faux meat and chips, faux meat and mash, sweet potato pie. Literally the only potato things we have in the game is what's on the menu here. Outside, there's a little bit of a bench and some outdoor tables. When you come in, you walk through this door on the side and this is that, oh, my potato's gone. Oh no, oh no. Hold on, my potato has been deleted. I have to fix it. I think I didn't place the lot with move objects on. So I think that's why this happened to me. Don't worry, it's back. Okay, there's my prized potato and this is the check-in desk so the host will be standing back here and don't worry it's play tested so it works. We've got a nice long seating area and a couple tables inside. I really do feel like the vibes in here are good. Like you wouldn't know how gross this place is just based off the dining room. We have an outdoor seating area too with these fairy lights and everything over it. And then you come down this hallway and it takes you into the bathroom which is horrible. There's mouse traps everywhere. In game because there's a fountain there it's like spraying out water and I tried to put signs saying like don't go in there. Don't poop here, you know? I really tried to warn people. We have a changing table and I decided on purpose not to put a trash can attached to it because I didn't like where it was slotting. It was like too far off. It was in the middle of the room, so I just didn't bother. But if they just throw diapers on the floor, what's the problem? It's already gross in there, right? So it's fine. And then over here, we have the kitchen. These are the ducks that I was talking about being kind of glitchy, but I put these like buckets of potatoes everywhere. There's a mouse trap on the counter and by the food. We've got a really gross fridge, trash can with like food on the floor. I was envisioning that maybe these pipes were leaking and they put some paper towels down to try and like soak up the water. This thing is base game. It's got potatoes. There's a fire extinguisher. And then out this door, we have a little trash area with the dumpster and everything. And that is the whole build. Again, not huge, not a huge menu either, but you know what? I think it's fun. I think it's also nice to have more places to visit in Copperdale. The starter home that was here before is super cute, but it's obviously nice to have like more community lots to come to. So hopefully you liked this video. I'm sorry about um, the rather chaotic inspiration behind this. And on that note, I'm gonna end this one right here. So thank you for watching. When you're seeing this, I should be home from VidCon really soon, which is good. I have been busy pre-recording and this is one of the last videos that's gonna be pre-recorded. So I'll be back and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Actually, you know, maybe you shouldn't place this lot and have your Sims eat here. It might be for the best if they didn't come to this place for their own health and safety. <laughs>